In this lesson, we're going to show you a little bit about the uh, Revit structure analytical visibility or display thereof. We're not going to talk about the actual analysis part and how you might um, export that to Robot or one of the other analysis products. All I want to talk about here is the visibility of the analytical model and just to give you some tips on that so you can at least manage it throughout your projects. Here I'm just in the just a basic uh, project that's provided with the training here in our Revit Structure 2014 A to Z and um, at this point I've just started with the default Revit Structure template to do this originally but the way what we're going to show you here is going to allow you to control and manage the analytical model display regardless as once you know where everything is. So the first thing we're going to do here is go up to structure and under our structure panel over here to the right there's a little arrow to go in for some settings and inside of there we're going to go to analytical model settings and we're just going to go down here and say analytical model visibility differentiate ends of linear so yes we want to differentiate the ends of the analytical model being start and end points and all that stuff so that's it we turn that on we hit OK so that's a global setting that's not specific to the view okay the next thing we want to do next thing we want to do is go in the manage tab and over here under object styles and yours might look different because my menu is being condensed click on there and if you pull over here the analytical objects have their own tab on there and inside of here you're going to see analytical beams, analytical braces, analytical columns, etc. So if you pick on here, depending on what template start you started with, again this is a global setting, you can see beams, end segment, start segment. So what we're going to do is we're going to form a little trend. We're going to say start and end is always red and green. So start segment is going to be the color red. We're going to hit OK. okay end segment we're going to pick on here and we're going to say uh, green this green right here okay then we're going to go to braces and we're going to say start is red end is green we're going to go through the columns and do the same thing and instead of start and end we'll go top and bottom top is red and bottom base is green. So red and greens start and end top and bottom hit OK. So that's under our object styles. Again global settings. Now we get into the view settings on how we want to set up this particular view. So what we can do and we can do this now now that those global settings are in we can go to a 3D view or a floor plan or an elevation. First of all we should be aware of here if we change to be coarse detail Okay, the concrete stuff doesn't change, but when you go to coarse detail of the view, it goes from just kind of to a single line. And that will depend on if you're in a floor plan or if you're in a 3D view and you change it to be coarse detail or etc. Okay, uh, let's go to level 3 and go to coarse detail, you see. It gives you a single line. So each view, and I'll go back to that 3D view, has the opportunity to set its coarse, medium, and fine. Still nothing to do with analytical so far. We can also set this, for instance, to be wireframe, and then we can kind of see through it. So we'll take advantage of that in a second. We'll leave this as hidden line for the time being. So now what we want to do is turn on the analytical aspects of the model. We can overlay them on top of the physical model or we can turn off the physical model and to do that we go into visibility graphics so we can type VV on the keyboard or we can go up here and say visibility graphics and inside of there again we're gonna see analytical model this looks a lot like the object styles we saw earlier but this is specific only to this view so we can go right here there's a global setting saying show analytical categories in this view and then if you click on here you're gonna see end segment and start segment is turned on rigid link so we're gonna see these okay and the control of the colors was set back in the object style so this is specific to this view and watch what happens boom we turn it on and it looks like that okay now we can't see a whole lot but we're gonna notice red green red green on the ends 
okay now we can't see the columns because they're kind of buried inside there okay so we can either switch this to go wireframe which will help us kind of see through that okay you can see the analytical model or we can turn the physical model off in this view by going back into our visibility graphics VV on the keyboard and model categories turn them all off that's it boom all we're going to see now is the analytical model now here's an interesting thing because of the depth of that grade beam around the analytical model of this if we say attach and we use the attach tool okay let's turn the um, let's go back to VV and let's turn that turn those objects back on. If I take this column and I say attach the top of the column to here it'll stretch itself up. So if I turn off the the physical model my this analytical model will do that. So that's one way of you know thinking about the analytical model by picking on the this guy and saying attach the top to here and it'll do that. Okay, you can also go in here and pick on here and you can say um, actually you have to tab to grab the analytical um, model click on it and then you get an option here to say analytical adjust and then from there you can just grab that node and drag it up to there. Okay, and then finish and then click out. So visually um, it doesn't make any difference and analytically they're both the same. The difference is this column is not attached to here whereas this column is and which means that if this beam moves these columns will go up and down because that's what the attach tool does. This guy if this beam goes up and down the analytical model will move but the top of the column will not because it's not attached to here. When it gets attached to the top or the bottom of something when that object moves it extends itself it relinquishes its control so just a note on that so um, we can go back now into our VV and let's say okay we can turn off our model categories and hit okay and there we have our analytical model so um, from there you can turn things on and off and you can see that you know a beam and a joist are really just framing objects okay I did add some some braces inside of here okay so there's some braces in there and you can see the start and end again red and green red and green okay so you can do that same thing in a floor plan okay let's try making a view template inside of here let's go up to our view tab and say view template create template from current view and let's just call it you know and uh, analytical and looks good to me and so let's apply that to a floor plan let's go to say the level 2 and let's duplicate that because we want to duplicate the view let's duplicate with detailing and then in this view we're going to go to view templates and we'll apply a view template and let's go grab our um, all analytical. Now, was there an was there a structural analytical already? No, there isn't. So there's our analytical. Hit OK, and boom, there you go. So that kind of worked quite nice, even though it's going from a 3D view to a 2D view. So you can see the start and end of your. So that helps when you pick on this beam, and you see here. Um, and that is the analytical model. So let's turn the let's turn the physical model back on. And let's set wireframe. So we can see through it. There we go. Was well, set to wireframe. So now what I can do is I can pick on the beam and you can see in here where it says start and end, etc. Okay? Start and end. Now you know where the start and end is because you can see the red and the green. And you can always, you know, pick on the beam and play with these numbers. But the the red and green kind of helps you distinguish whenever you pick on something, and you have the option of something to do with start and end, um, and that's lot pinned. Um, 
is that it helps when you have your analytical model because that at least gives you an indication of your start and end. So back to my 3D view and there we have it. So just a couple of uh, tips on uh, controlling and managing the analytical model in Revit Structure 2014.